guys, it's me Kate again. So this video is all of, is my t uh, November TBR, which means that I'll be, I'll be seeing what book properly chosen and uh, will choose for me to read it this month. Let's go into rule number one. So this story landed on last month when we finally broke and broke our streak in which we got the doubles seven months in a row so we, let's go into round number one it's a 12 one and the doubles one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve cozy read okay Roll number one ended up being cozy read and the double, so I had to add one roll and instead of three to four. And for that, I'll be rereading Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jake Chris of each second book in the Illumina Files series. And you might be wondering why I consider um, uh, science fiction in which uh, uh, planets and his colonies and space insurance are being destroyed as a cozy read. I really enjoy actually this whole series and I, even though they're not cozy cozy, they're really interesting and fun. Uh, so as I said in this series, we're following a group of uh, people connected to space colon, illegal space colony Karen's of four. In the first book, we are following two uh, teenagers who managed to evacuate from the colony and in this one we're following um, people who live on the space station and uh, that are char that characters from the book uh, first book are supposed to were supposed to come to to be rescued and that goes from there then we have role number two let's go into role number two and it's another double and it's ten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten most recent purchase. Round number two ends up being most recent purchase. Uh, at the moment, I chose, chose my most recent purchase at the moment because I'm pre-filming this. And that is uh, Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, which is a classic uh, and I know don't know what it's about but it says in the back when young Jim Hawkins discovers a treasure map in the pirate's chest he is drawn into a world of danger and adventure he joins the crew setting sail to the Caribbean to seek out the booty and over the course of uh, the voyage confronts murity murder and charismatic and uh, there was Long John Silver, which always says me not, tells me nothing, but I know it's really um famous classic. So, and roll number two also went to double, so I had to add another book to this PBR. So let's go into roll number three. Roll number three. It's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's character's card and it's for Dr. Gregory House book featuring a doctor. Okay. Roll number two ended up being character's card and I got Dr. Gregory House to read the book featuring the doctor. And for that, I will be rereading The City of Brass by a by S. H. Aborton, which we are following Nahri, who is a kind of woman, and her power is to sense the ailments of people, but she is always making them out to be worse than they actually are, and sense sense of her uh, uh, her clients to this apothecary, which is. Uh, which is uh, uh, whose uh, owner is her friend and 
uh, she actually gets the cut of each person she sends there. And turns out that and while Nanha is performing one of uh, her coins, she accidentally summons a Chin warrior who then takes her to the evil by the titular city of Brass because turns out she is heir to this ancient line of healers in their world. So Let's go into roll number five and our uh, roll number four, which is our second to last roll. Roll number four, because we got a double. It's a seven, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, YA fantasy, okay. And roll number four ended up being uh, YA fans for which I'll be rereading Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I think, yes. And let us go into our fifth and last roll. Because we got another double, we are now on to roll number five. And we got a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Paranormal. So our last roll ended up being paranormal, and for this I'll be rereading Witch Curse by Lisa Casey, which is another installment in uh, in Kitsuran Chronicle series in which we start by following Sebastian, who is a Kitsune, which is the Japanese nine-tailed fox spirit with elemental magic. And who has been on the run ever since something happened to him a year ago, up until now, when he bumps into an elf aware of Emelian, who actually saved him a year ago. And in Witch Wolf and Witch Curse, we are following uh, Toby, who is one of the members of Liam's pack. Actually, you all managed to see how much I'm filming this by my most recent purchase. So, if there's any uh, reactions I will uh, be participating in this month, I'll be doing separate video for that. And the reason I'm pre-filming this video is because college. I, li I don't know how my schedule is going to look like in my sophomore year, for example. This, uh, this year, uh, uh, in this semester, I have on, I can only film on Fridays and maybe sometimes on Wednesdays, so um, yeah, and I don't, don't know how my timetable is going to be looking like when this video is going to go up, so I might not even have time to film who knows? Uh, yeah, uh, that's it for this video. If you like it, please like, share, and subscribe. Down below, my social media, my email, and some other stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.